Well guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. So today, I've got a little different video for you. As you can see, I'm not in the kitchen. I'm off the side of the kitchen in my, uh, it's kind of a wet bar area. There's a sink down here and a big counter. And um, there's a cabinet in the corner and one here behind me. And then over here is my walk-in pantry. And when we first moved in this house 12 and a half years ago, um, and I painted, I have painted every room in this house myself. Um, my husband's not the painter, so uh, I've done all the indoor painting at this point. And after I got done painting this little area, which is going around a lot of doors and everything, kind of a pain, he decided to put up new trim and new baseboards. And so now that I'm going to repaint it, because we put new can lights in and the trim leaves a space there where it needs to be repainted, the ceiling, so I'm just going to repaint the whole thing. So now I get to putty the nail holes and caulk all around any gaps that need to be done around the door jams and the base boards. So, and then I can paint and I'll be painting the walls, the ceiling, and that carries through into the kitchen. I'll be repainting the kitchen ceiling. The walls in there don't need to be painted, but the ceiling does because of new can lights. So, I'm really doing this video to encourage you guys, if you've got a home improvement project and you're a little leery, go ahead and do it because usually you can do a, a better job than somebody else because you care. So let me bring you along. It's kind of like a vlog, if you will. I've been asked to do these uh, off and on over the years and I decided, you know, might as well because I'm not going to be doing a lot of cooking videos. In fact, it's going to be a crock pot meal today. <laughs> it's snowing outside. It's a good day to be inside doing projects like this. All right, guys. So let me show you what we're going to be doing. Okay, so there's the new can lights, and there's two in this area. And as you can see, this is not a huge area. I'm going to have to clear off everything, get the light switch covers off. and But there is three doors. Now, I've already painted the pantry door and the door to the garage, which they did need it. And I'm going to show you the laundry room door. It definitely, you know, it's got some ding marks, and and it's just not as pretty as the really pretty bright white you know so and I've got to I've got to patch all the nail holes anyways might as well get it done so <clears throat> this is the area we're going to be painting which is not that big that's the biggest wall right there it's the ceiling part that's going to stink but I'm going to drape some old sheets on the floor keep the floor protected and then we're going to come into the kitchen and you can see that ceiling will have to get done above the sink and over here and I, I've had my husband pull the can lights down these can lights are fantastic they are very very bright over my work surface here um, they didn't the trim didn't match up exactly like the other trim so that's why I have to repaint but it's always a good idea to freshen things up once in a while anyhow and then after that's all done I'll be going into the family room and painting that door and door trim and then baseboards where they need to be touched up. I really need to touch up baseboard trim. You know, your vacuum hits it. Um, it just, once in a while, you've got to clean things up again and make it look new and pretty. And so the walls are fine. I keep them nice and clean and the baseboards are clean. They just look dingy. So we're going to clean those up and then we'll work our way back there. And I painted that hall and bathroom, oh, a few years ago, so it really doesn't need it. Um, but this can be freshened up and then we're probably going to be doing some work in uh, some of the other rooms too. So I thought I'd bring you along. All right, guys, let me get to work. <laughs> So the first thing you're going to want to do is take any light switch plates or plug plates off your wall and get those off. I've already removed the other one down there. Pretty simple and that way you can paint without worrying. And these, actually these plug plates, I'll give you a little bit more of a close up. These are ones that I made years ago and these are a regular plug plate that I cut out this was fabric that was um, wine corks and had different names of different wines on there. And um, I decoupaged it onto these so you can customize your plug plates. Um, and so 
Anyways, I'll try to give you a close-up of that, but I don't know, I might change them back to white. I like to change things up. I'm actually contemplating taking this wine glass rack down. Um, it's been there a long time, and we just don't really use the wine glasses. Uh, if I pull wine glasses out, they're usually the ones without the stem. Those big goblets are really not <laughs> what I would serve a guest necessarily. So I'm thinking I might try to take it down. If I can't get it down, then I'll have to have my husband's help, but um, hopefully I can take it down and patch the holes and get everything ready to paint. And it'll open this up a little bit more, so I might do that. Let me go get a drill because I'm gonna need it. <laughs> Okay guys, so I got the wine rack down. Thankfully there was only one screw in there. Most of the time my husband overdoes stuff. But it also had two hooks to hang it from the ceiling. The screw was to keep it stable. And so I am gonna leave it off. I'm gonna get rid of those wine glasses, maybe give them to somebody else that can use them. I mean, they're pretty, but I don't need them. But I've got two nice holes in the ceiling. So I've gotta spackle this and you wanna, Obviously, you want a putty knife. And I may have to get my reading glasses on <laughs> because I don't see it well that uh, up close that well anymore. And these kind of projects are really kind of fun because you're making it fresh and new and uh, everybody loves to have fresh paint. Especially Spring is right around the corner, even though it doesn't seem like it. You know, we haven't got that long. A couple more months, we'll be looking to be outside all the time. So this is a good time to do these projects. And this putty has to dry. I'm patching all the little nail holes. Um, the putty has to dry for a little while. And then you're going to come over with a light sander and sand off any of the edges where you can see it and that way it'll make the finish like it was. And nobody will ever know there was a wine rack hanging there. Isn't that great? I love it. And it's gonna open this room up because it's kind of a small space anyway. So now we're gonna move over to the doors and I'll show you how I patch the little nail holes on the door trim. And yes, it's a pain in the butt, but it's gonna it's be beautiful. beautiful. So we wanna go ahead and fill that in. And then it's, again, you're gonna come back after it dries and sand it. So there's some up here I need to do all the way around this door frame. We'll get that done. And, ah, it's gonna be so nice to have this all brand new. All right, so I'll bring you back when we're getting ready to paint. Or oh, I've gotta do some caulking first, so. We'll do caulking. So I had a little caulking, caulking gun incident. Uh, brand new tube of caulking, but it's been in the garage. Even though our garage doesn't freeze, the temperature changes. Um, I had cracked the top of the caulking tube, and so it was coming out the crack, not the hole I cut in it. But that's all right, I've got a brand new one heating up, coming up to room temperature, so it's easy to squeeze. And I'm gonna go ahead, all these spots where I've filled the nail holes have dried. You just take a light sandpaper, and I don't know what, well that's not working, that's the paper side. I don't know what grit this is, but you don't need a heavy grit. And you're just gonna smooth the spots that you've caulked, or you've uh, spackled, I should say. And, Till they're smooth and it looks like nothing ever happened. Mm. And here we go. So, that being said, I'm gonna finish these two doorways, three doorways actually, and then we, it should be time to do some caulking and I can fill in all the gaps along these. Some are bigger than others. This, I don't think this side needs it, but definitely this door needs it and um, down the baseboard area. So, fun times, then we get to paint. I'm excited about the painting. So now what I'm doing is I'm going around all the little spots where I had spackled and sanded off the excess spackle. I'm touching that up. Yesterday this got one coat of paint and this door and that door. The uh, laundry room door directly behind me has not got a coat of paint on it yet, but um, 
I will do that as well, and then we'll get to uh, caulking. That caulking should be thought out enough that I can get that done. And my overalls are falling apart here. These are really old. Um, anyway, uh, and we'll get to doing the walls. So trim paint, door paint, caulking, and walls, and we're, and ceiling, and then we're done. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll be back. Okay, guys, I don't know if you can see, but hopefully you can see right here along this door jam, and this one here too, but it's a much smaller gap. I already did the other side of the door and down below. You've got uh, a gap, and you wanna caulk that, um, and I'm doing a 45-year latex caulking. It's washable and paintable. So you just run a bead, and I always loosen it, run a bead and I cut a pretty small hole in this caulking tube. You just run right down. Get kind of even pressure. And I'll go down about three feet and then I'll relieve the pressure off the caulking gun so you don't have a big mess coming out. Then we're going to set it down. So I can come up here with my finger and you're gonna use the pad of your finger and come in here and clean that up. Any excess wipe off on a rag and all the way down to where it starts again. And if you want, you can use your excess up. Um, so that's as easy as it is. And you'll wanna let that dry and uh, We'll be able to touch up the paint and it'll be fantastic. All right, guys, I'm gonna keep working. And I think the next thing you'll see is some more painting. All right, wall paint, which is gonna be a little bit lighter than what it is right now. So wall and kitchen ceiling will be a little bit lighter than they are. And I think it'll bring some more contrast in here. All right, guys, it is time to start painting. Hi, wait, I got the doors painted, the trim is done. You know, any touch-ups I have to do later, that'll be good. But, and this is so much lighter. It's gonna brighten up and open this little area up a little bit. And super excited for that. So it may take two coats, even though it says it's not supposed to. And you need to have a drip right handy because I just dripped onto my counter. And I just clean up as I go, so. If I do get any dripping, I clean it up. No problem. Okay. A little bit more here. And I like these little skinny rollers. They get right in the corner pretty good. And yeah, I can tell we're gonna need two coats for this, but that's okay. Pretty cool. And I'm bringing you guys with me. And this, honestly, this probably needed it. The worst uh, room in need of paint, other than, you know, touching up trim and stuff, is the laundry room. So I've, after I've been in there looking at it, I'm gonna get in there and wash all the walls down tomorrow and um, I'm gonna make my husband move washer and dryer around so I can paint in there as well. So, and I'll probably use this color, I think. Something bright. The small rooms need you know, brighter colors. And I think this is, this color has a, yeah, oh, it's gonna be so pretty. I'm excited. This actual area has been painted more than any area. In fact, my husband teased me for a while, said I was shrinking my space because I was painting so much. <laughs> so. I'm going to get down. I'll give you the name of the paint color. Okay. This is Pebble Cream BWC08. And that's the bare, um, bare whites. But I did use the, uh, you get a choice of three different kinds. And I used the one with the primer included in stain blocker. So I'll bring you back when I got a little more painted. Okay, so we're a couple hours
hours into this, but I got all of the ceiling in here and in my kitchen around my kitchen. So <laughs> I'm super excited. That wasn't that hard, and I matched the color to the ceiling as close as possible. It just didn't match these walls. These walls were a couple shades darker. So I only needed one coat on the ceiling. I'll be able to, as soon as it dries, get my can lights back in place. It'll be nice. So now I'm doing all the cut-in work, and I know other people do it differently. This is just the way I do it, and I use a steady hand, even though I do shake all the time. It seems to work for me, and I've got a nice two-inch angled brush that I'm going to use, and you're just going to run it along the edge, and if you make a mistake while it's wet, you fix it. So... And then any spots that I see that need another coat with the roller, I can hit it right then. But super easy. Kind of, there's a lot of cut-in uh, work for this particular project just because of all the doors and um, the big window in the kitchen and around all the cabinets. So I do have a little bit of more work left, but I'm going to try to get as much done today as I possibly can on my day off from work. And um, I'm really liking it. I'm liking that wine, wine rack being gone already, because now I can put something up there that um, is different and new and uh, maybe bring it up. I don't know, maybe a spice rack or who knows? I'll find something. Anyways, so I'm going to complete cutting in around all this stuff. And uh, all the doors are done on this side. So that being said, the laundry room door is done on this side, this door. So I've still got the opposite sides of the doors to do and the inside of the door jams. But as soon as I get to the laundry room painting that, I can do that. Aesthetically, though, this is going to look fabulous today. All right, guys. <laughs> Hope it inspires you to get some painting done. So here's a look at, uh, and it's a really soft tan color, but it contrasts well with the white. Just beautiful. I, I really like it. At first I thought it was going to be too light, but I had to match the ceiling color as close as possible. And boy, I came very close just from uh, looking at, color swatches and I am going to change these back to white but I need to go to the Home Depot and do that. All the caulking, you remember this had a big gap, that's all gone. I still have a couple of little touch-ups here and there but for the most part it's back together. It looks beautiful. It came out gorgeous and for a day's work. So the ceiling is all done in here and I've got a little bit more to cut in over here and over here. And then I'm completely done. So I'll do that tomorrow. I'm just like, I need to start dinner. But it came out gorgeous. The can lights um, are, everything is lined up now. I don't know if you can see it. Before you could see like the non-painted surface around it showed. So anyways, it, it just came out really nice. And then in here, I was able to actually touch up a spot there, but I need to put some flat paint over it to make it blend a little better. We've got to get some texture put on there. But that's how it came out. And so I do want to tell you, this is what I do for to remember what paint I used. On this one, I put trim and door paint. That's the white I chose, the uh, ultra pure white. And then on this, where is it? On this swatch, I, or paint swatch, I wrote uh, kitchen, ceiling, and wet bar. So I know where that paint is and what color it is if I ever need to replace it again. And I just put this in my little toolbox area and keep that for future reference. All right, guys. Can't wait to see you next time. I hope if you like this video, you give me a thumbs up. 
And if you have ever had a project like this, leave us a comment in the comment section and let me know how it came out. And um, again, I'll see you next time on another delicious video. Don't forget to check the links below because I've got a few links you might be interested in. You can go watch me on Roku or you can go visit my Facebook page and say hi over there. Show us some pictures of painting projects. All right, guys. <laughs> see you next time. Bye.